This goes back into the 70s or so. You can find records of games these teams have played against each other back in the day. When I think of Arsenal and Tottenham that I grew up and was very close to, we have Celtic and Rangers, Barcelona, Real Madrid, whoever you want to name, um, Liverpool, Everton, the Manchester derby. There's some big, big games around the world. The Milan derby. This game is there. This is our one. This is the one in the States. There's no rivalry in the States that's even close to this. Obviously, they just hate us. So, you know, it's only right that we hate them back. I just remember after the penalty and Clint scored, I wanted to go over to the Timbers Army and hold my middle finger up. Going to Portland, I hated it. Um, I mean, I loved going there to play, but I hated their fans. It was definitely a great feeling to be able to shut them up. It's a great buzz here, obviously. It's, I mean, you do throw out the records. It is a rivalry like no other in MLS. Portland would have thought that after the MLS Cup, they would have kind of built on the success that they had last year in the second half of the season. There was, there was a large stretches of last season where Portland found themselves kind of out of that magic line that you were talking about. And so I think it still gives hope to, to the Sounders after the result the other day that they can find themselves in a situation where they can get themselves to the playoffs. And once you get into the playoffs, anything can happen. You know what we got to do, okay? It's all about us. Sounders on three. One, two, three. Sounders! We have a lot more history in American soccer than many realize. Much has been forgotten, much has been deliberately buried. But this is living history here, a rivalry that dates back to 1975 in a building that dates to 1926. Underway between the Portland Timbers and the Seattle Sounders. Even should save. Here's Jordan Morris! Does not hit the back of the net, not the frame. Is all alone, six and a half, seven yards from frame and he misses it, miss hit to the right. Great opportunity from even shits. It'll be Jewsbury who stands over the free kick though. Jewsbury swings this in to Fry, gets the punch to traffic, he's up in and he's out of his goal. Now he trying to get it in, and Brad Evans was there to block it away. Here's Milano coming away with it, Valeri just to the inside. Hottie's there as well, it's Valeri! It's all right, next one, next one. Go on, Elvis! Quickly back in, it's headed in for a goal! Chad Marshall meeting that ball, beating Gleason top shelf, and it is a wide open game now. Good screen for Milano to run into. Hottie's offside, Milano trying to play to him, and the flag is going down! Hottie puts it in wrong side of Fry, and Seattle back down two goals on the Timbers counter. And a nine point gap separating Seattle for the playoffs. The Timbers above the red line ahead of Kansas City. But they're not going to care as much about that as they are a 3-1 to one win. My hat's off to Portland. You know, the timing of their goals was really significant right before halftime, right after halftime. You know, it wasn't adequate what we did defensively there.